Hey there, welcome back. It's Cindy Courtney, your independent Scentsy consultant, and today I'm here to share with you the the wax bars that I have been warming that or that I did warm in the months of February and March is when I used these. And I also wanted to go over a couple oils that I went over as well. Um, so let's get started. I have a bunch here as you can see. All right. I have warmers going on in my house all the time because I'm a stay-at-home mom, so I'm usually always here or someone's here, so I like to have my warmers on. The ones in my bathrooms, I, I don't even really turn off because they act as night lights at nighttime for my kids or myself or, or whoever, um, so that's why I love my warmers, and so I keep them on often. So I, it might look like I have a lot of wax here, but I have quite a few warmers that I use and I either have my warmers on in the downstairs or the upstairs and like I said this is from two months and so let's get started all right the first one that I have right here is sweet cucumber and this is one of my top 10 favorite scents I think that since he has come out with it smells so good and refreshing just like cucumber there's not I don't think there's anything else really with it that you can smell just a fresh cucumber and it is a strong scent so if you love the stronger scents I personally love a strong scent then this is a good one for you oh I just love it I need to actually order some more of it since it is now in the spring and summer catalog which I was so excited about because I only had one bar left of it all right another one that I enjoyed and my family enjoyed is melon and apple granita and this was I want to say it was February scent of the month. Is that right? Yes, it was February scent of the month. And it smells so good. It got me ready for spring season. It was the last month of the fall and winter catalog. And I was ready for the spring and summer season. So this got me, it uh, was a good introduction to that. It, it is a good fruity smell. I love the sm fruity smells. It's a sweet, good fruity smell. I actually went through, I think, two bars of this one. And then the next one that I have is Sweet Plum Pastry. And this was one of my favorite ones from the fall and winter season. It is no longer available, but I did buy an extra backup bar so I can warm it when I like. And I didn't think this would be a scent that I like because I'm not really the uh, corner cafe girl. I don't really like the food scents too much. They're okay. They're not my favorite. But when I warmed this one, um, when someone else was talking about how much they loved it and I thought I'd give it a try, I just love it. It is a very sweet smell, and you can smell the pastry in it, like the crumb, the bread crumb, or the graham cracker crumbs. But it's like a blueberry cobbler, heavy on the blueberry and plums and berries. It's just a really good scent. All right, let's move along here. Oh yeah, see, here's my other melon and apple granita bar that I had. I did two of those because I just love that scent and was so ready for spring and summer season. Okay, then the next one I'm excited about. The next one that I warmed and used all up is Indigo Petals. And this was part of a collection that Scentsy came out with last summer. Um, and it was based on the color Indigo. There were six bars in it, each a different color of Indigo. And was supposed to bring up a certain mood of what Indigo means. There was even a music playlist to go with it and everything. And I just loved it, but... Um, I have tried not to use it all up because it hasn't been available again, um, but I just wanted to try. It was nostalgic. I love this one. It is Indigo Petals. It's a very flowery smell with a sweetness, a sweet undertone to it. It's not like a perfume floral smell, though, like a fresh flower almost. Maybe a little vanilla underneath. I don't remember exactly which what, what is in this one, but I love this one, and I love the packaging. Look at that beautiful butterfly. And then the other one that I used up, because I only had a couple cubes left of it, um, was indigo berries. And I really love this one, because I love the berry smells. It's a very strong berry. And it's just, you can smell like the raspberry. It's got a tartness to it, and also a sweetness of the berries mixed together. So this was awesome. I even looked on the Bring Back My Bar list if you could vote for Indigo Berries again because I would love to have this come back, but it wasn't available on that. So hopefully Scentsy comes out with something that was similar to the Indigo collection because I just love that. All right, getting down to the last three 
bars that I have here. And these are of the newer scents that are in the spring and summer catalog. Well, first let's go over Ivy and Water Lily. This is March's scent of the month, April scent of the month, excuse me. I'm confused with how they've switched the, um, for us consultants, how they switched the scent of the month club. But this is April scent of the month, Ivy and Water Lily, and I just love it so much. I know I'm saying that about all of these, but they're so good and all in a different way. It's got a floral scent to it, but with an aquatic note to it almost. Like it's a, it's a nice bathroom scent. I had it throughout my whole house and it was fabulous. And everybody who smelled it who didn't think they'd like it has really loved it. I've sold a lot of the, of the Ivy and Water Lily already. So this is a fabulous scent. If you'd like to try something different out. Okay, and then the next one I have is Sheer Woods. This one was... I like this one also. It's completely different than all the other ones. It's not berry at all. This would, it's a new scent. It's a new release. It will belong in the Scentsy Man category, I think. It's very warm and, um, like there must be amber in it or something like that. There's, it's a very warm, masculine yet feminine smell. Almost like those uh, unisex colognes that you that either a girl or a guy could wear is what it kind of reminds me of. Because it does smell masculine but feminine at the same time. I, I like it. It's a very warm scent. And then the last one that I have is Southern Sweet Tea. And I loved this one. This one is really good. It is very peachy. And then you can smell like the tea underneath it. I'm missing one. I'm missing one bar actually. It's not the last one, it's the second to last one. Um, <laughs> so it's a great peachy scent with tea, with like iced tea note underneath it. It wasn't super strong, but I could smell it um, throughout my house when I warmed it. I do like a, a strong scent. And some of the new summer releases I've noticed aren't as strong as I like them, but this was a pretty strong scent. Probably, I'd give it a, a seven in the strong factor for me. I just like it, and I already have a backup of this one as well. And then this one, Sweet Amber and Freesia, was a surprise for me. Because on cold, I couldn't smell it at all. I didn't think it smelled like really anything. So I was kind of disappointed, like, I'm not going to like it. It's going to be like a few of the other ones that aren't strong enough for me. Um, but I decided to give it a try, and I love it. It smells so good. It has the Freesia floral smell to it with a powdery undernote. A little bit kind of like a perfume almost but not a strong grandma perfume <laughs> if you will it's very sweet and floral and with a little powdery undernote so on cold yeah I couldn't smell it at all I was like I don't know if I like it but once I warmed it it was wonderful so it just goes to show you that on the cold or when it's not warmed it doesn't always give you a full smell of what it's going to smell like when you warm it. So I'm going to be getting another one of this one too. All right, so those are all the bars that I have to share with you that I've warmed in the last couple months. Next, I just want to talk about a couple oils that I've been loving because I've been using my diffuser more. Um, and I love it. I love how I get the fragrance right away and how I can regulate the amount of scent. I can make it super str strong if I want or medium or a light smell. So that's what I just, I just love it. Um, and so these are, would be my top three that I've used in the last couple months, months or February and March, excuse me. The first one is Eucalyptus Lavender Mint. And I use this one all the way up. And this isn't the full size that when you purchase it, you will get. I have a consultant oil kit so that I've been using those ones. So I did use this one. This one is, I think it's 0.17 fluid ounces. The regular ones are five fluid ounces. So they're a lot larger, but this was really good during the month of February when my family was fighting colds. I would put the diffuser in the kids' room, put this eucalyptus lavender mint in it, and it was really helpful in getting them to go to sleep and relax and not cough so much. So I really liked this eucalyptus, eucalyptus lavender mint. And also in my diffuser, I used some natural oil or some Young Living oils also that I really liked, and I used eucalyptus, which was awesome. So this was a good one to help clear those sinuses. And then one that I use that's my go-to is the Jasmine White Tea. I do have a full size of this one, but I couldn't find where it's at. So I pulled this one out, it's the smaller one. Um, but it is just a nice lighter floral scent with the tea under note. 
it's just an it's a it's a feminine smell and it's fresh and so this is when I'm like what should I warm I end up usually always go, or diffuse I usually always go to this one and then I tried this one out on a whim because I love the fruity smells it's apple orange raspberry oh, this is amazing I had it in all my diffusers yesterday so my whole house smelled like this and it, it's exactly what it smells like apple raspberry and orange I don't know if in that order it might be more raspberry orange apple for me but it just smells so good I loved it and it was fresh and fruity and spring scent so those are the wax bars <laughs> I can't think today those are the bars and the diff and this oils that I've been using in the last couple months that I'd share with you and give you an idea of some different scents maybe you could try out or what I like um, leave below what scents you've used in the last couple months and need to repurchase or want more of and I can surely help you out with that um, and my information is down below if you'd like to visit my website to host join or party and thank you for taking the time to watch this video and until next time have a sensational day bye